Hey everyone, what's up? If you're wondering why I am coming to you today looking like this, it's because we got a brand new trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus, and it's currently about 7 a.m. where I'm at, so yeah. I'm gonna react to this trailer, and the past couple times we've had trailers at 7 a.m. and I haven't had myself on screen, you guys kinda asked and requested if I could be back on screen so you could see my live reaction, so that's why I'm here, because I'm a man of the people. I'm, I'm in my hoodie, I'm up, I'm on camera at a obscene hour when I should not be for you guys because I love and care about you so hopefully whatever we see today there's a good reaction and it's worth me being on camera so without further ado let's go ahead and check out this trailer let's see so new faces from the Hisui region Pokemon Legends Arceus full screen boom Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Update. Let's go. Meet the Sui region's two clans. The Diamond Clan, the Pearl Clan. Galaxy people knew all sorts of things. I'd like to learn... Hmm, these are the people we've seen on the map. So we kind of know about these people, but these guys are new. Diamond Clan leader, Adaman. Interesting. Who's that other girl? She kind of looks like familiar. Arita. She looks familiar. Like she kind of looks like May or something like that. Arita, Arita, something like that. Very interesting. Encounter the merchants of the Ginkgo Guild. Ginter. Interesting. Hmm. Volo. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So we got to meet some new characters, which is always a good thing. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. I feel like this calls for going to look at the uh, the website. Okay, so now we're on the Legends website and we're ready to read just a little bit more about the characters we were just introduced to in that new trailer. So right here, we got the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. The Hisui region isn't just home to the Galaxy team, which you'll join. The other two groups, two other groups also live here, the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Once again, these are the native looking people that we've noticed on the Hisui region map, as well as we've noticed that the Wardens seem to be a part of these groups as well, because they have the, the same clothes. Both clans don clothing designed to resemble certain Pokemon, and both pay respects to special Pokemon they call Lords and Ladies, or collectively, Noble Pokemon. Uh, and both Diamond and both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan have Wardens who serve these special Pokemon. For example, the Warden Arezu, who serves a certain Lady Pokemon, is a member of the Diamond Clan, but Warden Leon, the Warden serving Cleavor, the Lord presiding over the Obsidian Fieldlands, is a member of the Pearl Clan. And there they are. The young leaders in charge of the Diamond and Pearl Clans. Adaman. He looks... He looks pretty interesting. Adaman serves as the leader of the Diamond Clan and has Leafeon as his partner Pokemon. Very interesting. He doesn't look like a Leafeon guy, but that's dope because Leafeon's cool. This daring young man hates seeing time go to waste and likes to rush forward without worrying too much about particulars. This way of thinking puts him at odds with Arita, who leads the Pearl Clan, so the two are frequently seen fighting. He looks interesting, but both him and Arita, this other girl, they don't necessarily look like they're related to anyone, although Arita looks very, very familiar to me. She kind of looks like she reminds me of May in a way, but I don't think she's connected to May or anything. So if, if you can see any connections to other characters with her, let me know in the comments below. 
Arita serves as the leader of the Pearl Clan, and her partner in Pokemon is Glaceon. I'm gonna like her, because I really like her design, and she has Glaceon, and Glaceon's my favorite, so this is cool. As a leader, she feels it's important to have the courage to face the vast Asui region without quailing before it. Though she is suspicious of you when you first meet, she will come to trust you thanks to the help you provide in quelling the noble Pokemon. The, Gink the G Ginkgo Guild merchants ply their wares as they travel the region. Very interesting. Ginter. Ginter is the head of the Ginkgo Guild. He might not look all that enthusiastic, but it's his strong leadership that keeps the guild together. He'll sell you rare items and special finds that he gets from various places. So these guys are basically the merchants, which is really cool. And he... He has somewhat of a familiar look as well, but I'm not really able to place if he's like the ancestor to anyone at this point. However, I am able to say, because it's kind of obvious, that Volo here is the ancestor to Cynthia, because he's got the signature like same hairstyle. So not really what I was expecting for an ancestor character to Cynthia just being a merchant, but I mean, that kind of makes him interesting because if he is connected to Cynthia, even if he's just a merchant, that's got to mean that he's important. So uh, that just makes me all the more interested in this guy and this group, even though they seem kind of just like just like merchants and not really that important. Volo, one of the Ginkgo Guild's merchants, is often to be found wandering the Hisui region. He has a tendency to cross paths with you no matter where you travel. He's got a boundless sense of curiosity and is always interested in unusual finds and unusual people. Very, very interesting. Like I said, definitely gonna want to keep an eye out for these guys because they could be a little more important than they seem. We also got confirmation via the website that there's going to be a special event including Darkrai in Legends Arceus. If you have save data on your system from either Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl, you will be able to get access to a special quest that will allow you the chance to catch Darkrai. And I really like that they say, specifically they say research request instead of just gifting you the Pokemon, which kinda basically means that we're gonna have some actual gameplay and some story associated with getting Darkrai, as well as Shaman, cause Shaman is the same for Sword and Shield data on your system, as opposed to just getting them like for free, so that is really cool. I am really excited about that. I'm excited to see what these quests entail, and specifically for Darkrai, it says that it's going to be uh, available after you view the game's end credits, so it's going to be a post-game thing, which is also really cool. So I am really, really excited about that. And just a couple more things I wanted to mention really quick. First, I figured out who this Ginter guy is actually related to. He is the ancestor to Volkner because, I mean, it was in the eyes. I kind of took a good stare at him, and I think they have the same eyes, but also it's referenced in his art. He's sitting down just like Volkner sits down in his art, so this is the ancestor to Volkner. That's a pretty cool connection there. And then there's also this really interesting thing with the Diamond and Pearl Clan leaders in the trailer where they actually say the word Sinnoh, and of course we know that Sinnoh at this point is called Hisui, so that was really interesting, but in context it's even more interesting because they are seemingly referring to Arceus when they say Sinnoh, because they they say like phrases like almighty Sinnoh forgive me and Sinnoh made this region so vast and phrases like that that imply they're talking about the creator of Sinnoh which is obviously Arceus so why is Arceus known as Sinnoh and why did that name get transferred to the region all very very interesting things that we're gonna have to wait and see but I cannot wait to find out and that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this bonus reaction and discussion video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'm really interested in all this stuff. And if I have anything else that I want to add to this, I'll make another video and I'll put it up today as well. So keep an eye on the channel and be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet for that. Otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow with another new video. And with all that being said, thanks for watching. I love you guys very much and I will smell you guys later.